everybody, welcome up here bringing you another Let's Play video inside of Stardew Valley. Today is the 28th and last day of summer in here to our completionist farm. Let's start the day off like we always do by checking the weather report. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow is going to be clear and sunny all day. Fantastic. Let's check in with the fortune teller as well. Oh, I see a grandma with a mice crying orb. A shot of knowledge from the future. These bears are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Okay, good. I was checking with the queen of sauce as well. Greetings to design. The queen of sauce here to teach you a new wealth watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, roasted hazelnuts. It's a nice old hazelnut tree behind my house. And every year I invite the family over for a nut roasting party. Once we started roasting, it's inevitable that the neighbors will show up. That rich nutty smell is irresistible. Now, here's the family recipe. You learned how to cook roasted hazelnuts. Fantastic. Another recipe. Uh, today is the day is the dance of the moonlight jellies. Uh, let's say hello little baby Tyrone right here. Hello little baby Tyrone. Mama, mama, mama. I like the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies because it is such a late event. I don't have to worry about um, anything. I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, I don't have to worry about losing most of my day to the festival. Come on. You're going to land somewhere, right? I got to say hi to you today. Land. Land. Where is she going? You going to watch TV? Okay. Hey. Mwah. Little smoochy poo. Mwah. Little smoochy poo. There we go. Uh, sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and jump down here and... Oh, we'll check the mail. Dear, we'll keep up with tonight at around 10 p.m. A rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing by Pelican Town on their long journey south for the winter. We're all gathering at the beach this huge watch. Uh, you don't want to miss this. See you tonight, Demetrius. Yes, we will attend that. We'll talk to everybody that we need to improve our relationship with uh, so that we can keep going up and up and up and up with our relationships with people. Uh, we got a whole bunch of tomatoes. I'm just going to throw them into the chest down here. Yep, that's where I have them. Throw, throw, throw. Excellent. Uh, and I th what I think I want to do today is I want to go and tend to my um, tend to my animals. I might do a little bit of prep actually for uh, fall. So prepping the farm, I mean specifically. Uh, so we'll probably go ahead and do that. Uh, let me grab all this guys. Grab all these guys. Say hello to everybody around here. We got some batteries as well, which is interesting and new. <laughs> Uh, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Let's move pigs. Come on, let's go. <laughs> uh, batteries. And, um, what are these things called? Truffles. Lots of truffles. Lots of batteries, lots of truffles, lots of animals to say hello to. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Yes, 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 yes. I see you. I see you all. Very, very nice. Very nice. There we go. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay. All right, let's go pick us up some eggs super quick. Oh, oh, and we got some cloth as well. Or I guess some wool that we can make into cloth, which is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up uh, all of these things here. And I think we have more eggs than we can actually make mayonnaise out of, which is actually kind of cool. We haven't had that in quite a while. Uh, let's pop our head into the greenhouse and see what's going on in here. We have a whole bunch of ancient fruit that are done. I'm not going to do anything with them quite yet. Ah, oh, look at these. We got the beets done. Actually, I am going to do something with the ancient fruits now that I think about it. Uh, I'm Because we actually have enough beets to do what I need to do with beets. Maybe that's what we'll do. And then we'll go and do some prep on the, the farm. That'll be fun. So the garlic is not done quite yet. Which is fine. Which is fine. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these other plants that I don't want anymore. Uh, they're eventually going to be garlic for the short term and then um, ancient fruit over the long term. Uh, but yeah, so we'll plant some ancient fruits in there um, eventually. Uh, right now, we're just going to keep getting all this stuff. Come here. Uh, oh, oh, we have two days worth of milk. Uh oh, I didn't get milk the other day. <laughs> My bad. I must have forgotten yesterday. Oopsie doopsie. Yeah, we don't have any milk ready to go. That's a shame. Or I should say we don't have any cheese ready to go, which is still a shame. Uh, let's see. Let's get these guys going. Let's do these onesies, twosies first, just to clean out our inventory where we can, where it makes sense to. There we go. There we go. Cool. Uh, we got some cloth. Let's put the wool down. Let's see, we got all kinds of other stuff too. We got all kinds of... Uh, uh, bars that have been smelted that we can pick up. Don't you eat a truffle? That's weird. It's weird to eat truffles. Okay, we got two iridium bars here, so we can go ahead and craft that item that we didn't get done before. 
Oh, that we couldn't get them before? I think it's the slime incubator. It is. Cool. So let's see. What do we need to make the slime incubator? We need... Come on. Go up there. There we go. We need... Uh, slime incubator. We need two iridium bars and a hundred slime. Okay, we should be able to get a hundred slime. No problem. Not from there, though. From here. Yeah, we got 240 slime, so no worries there at all. So we don't need the slime incubator. So we're just going to make it like that. Perfect. And now uh, we'll pop that in there. That'll be all done. And we don't have to worry about it. Not at all. We don't, 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 don't. Okay, we do have a bunch of cloth on here, too. I was worried about cloth the other day, and I don't need to be, obviously. Uh, put all that away. Anything else needs to go in here? Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Let's put our slime back in there. Let's put our batteries in there along with our gold. That'll do. And then apples, cherries, apricots go in here. We have a bunch of eggs and milk and stuff that we just need to hang on to for the short term. Uh, let's go ahead and put that stuff away. Or I should say, let's go ahead and sell that. Alrighty, and what we gotta do right now is we gotta do Mr. Key's quest. Because that'll be a fun little side mission for us to go do right now. So in order to do that, uh, let's go back in here and... <laughs> Hello, little baby Tyrone. You doing okay? Looks like you're having tr some problems there. No, you're good. Okay, cool. Uh, beats aren't in there. Beats are in here. Let's go ahead and put all of these in here. And uh, we're just gonna take 10 of those. Alright, so the other things we need, we need a battery... I think we need a rainbow shell. So let's see, let's get a battery. That's all I remember us needing anyway. Uh, we shall see if we need anything else. Battery. Um, yes, so let's go do that right now because that'll be a lot of fun. We can actually do that for once. Uh, let me mark off slime incubator real quick on my spreadsheet because I forgot, it. I don't want to forget that I did that. Um, and then in order to do the next thing, I guess the next likely thing that we can actually do. All right, so anyway, we're gonna we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna do this thing. So in order to do Mr. Key's little side quest, you gotta go over here. Uh, you gotta go down this hallway thing a little bit, and that's what you're looking for right here. This little call box in the middle, which is all in the shadows and stuff. So let's put this battery in there. Aha! It worked! The lockbox swings open. Inside, there's a note. Your first task. Bring a rainbow shell to the train platform. Leave it in the box. Mr. Key. So, uh, there, yeah, there's this weird little side quest. If you do this, then you get access to that secret club in the back of Sandy's, um, thing. In the back of her shop. So this is what we're going for. Uh, hey there, lady. Let's probably go ahead and pick up all these forageables, because this is going to be the last of them for a while. I'll just dump them in, um, in a space for a minute. And then, um, once we're done with this, I'll read through what we got to get done in fall. And we can start doing some prep work for all that. Which will be kind of fun. Oh, there's Harvey. If only I had some coffee for you, sir. But I do not. Don't eat the sweet pea. Don't eat the sweet pea. I forget what else he loves. I don't think I have anything else, though. So it's better to track him down later on when I have a loved gift for him, I think. I should do some gifting today, too. That would be a very good use of time. Because I'm going to spend a lot of my week um, dealing with the new season. But that's okay. I've got a lot to do all the time. Oh, there's an artifact spot here. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, it's just some big seeds. Womp womp. All right, so i got to take this rainbow shell and put it in this box here. You throw the shell into the box. Immediately, a note falls down from the rafters above. Well done. Your next task, bring 10 beads inside the mayor's fridge. Mr. Key. Okay. So. Now what we got to do is go into town and put beets in the mayor's fridge. I don't know why. I'm not going to question it, but it's what we need to do. I don't. I think there might be a fourth thing. And I may have not prepared for it. I hope I didn't do that, though. I wonder if it's like, ah, oh. now I'm nervous that I did something silly with this and forgot the fourth thing. I may have. It's like starting to tickle the back of my mind. <laughs> like, oh, ooh. okay, he's not here, which is good. 
You quickly place the meats in the fridge. Wait a sec, there's a note taped to the milk. It's addressed to you. Good job, kid. Your final task. Give the sand dragon his last meal. Mr. Key, I don't remember what that is. All right, one sec while I look that up. I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back, and it's not hard at all. Okay, so we do need to go to the desert. Uh, we need to take a, a um, whatever it's called, a um, a yellow thing, solar essence. We need to take a solar essence to the desert. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a crocus while we're heading back there too, uh, so that we could give that to Sandy since we're making a trip out there. We might as well do that, and um, yeah, then we will complete the Mr. Key quest, which would be great. And it'll be the first of the new season, which would be greater. See, crocus, please. Here we go. Boom, thank you for the crocus. Boom, boom, thank you for the crocus. Put those away, because I don't want them. And give me a solar essence. Thank you. Boom, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. It's 3.20, so she's still here, thank goodness. Yes, let's buy a ticket to the Calico Desert for 500 G. Beautiful! Alrighty, and this last quest is a little odd, but not too bad. You just gotta, this is the sand dragon, I guess, and you just gotta pop a solar essence in his face. You place the essence on the, in the dragon's maw. Only then do you notice a note hidden in the eye socket. You've proven yourself, kid. Check out the pile of lumber next to your house, Mr. Key. All right, so we gotta go back to the house and deal with that. <laughs> uh, but for now, let's go in and say hello to Sandy. Hello, Sandy. Oh, a visitor. Oh, I absolutely love getting flowers from the valley. It's so happy. Uh, it's always sunny here, even in the winter. Actually, it's a little hot for my taste. My delicate skin burns quickly in the sun. Okay. Uh, anything interesting? Not at all. Thanks for playing. Let's go. But that where that guy is back there, uh, that's where you can get into once you finish the whole thing. Which I think we've just done. Oh, I missed. And it's some rocks. Womp womp. Oh well. Alright, let's go ahead and head back. Yes, return to Stardew Valley. Off we go! What time is that, do I want to do? How much time do I have to actually prep this? 4.20. So I got a decent amount of time. It's not until 10 o'clock that um, my obligation to go to the Moonlight Jelly starts. Uh, let's go ahead and pop in here and see if we can use the rest of this milk. I think I had, I thought I had more milk than that, but I guess not. Maybe I accidentally sold some of it. Let's go ahead and pop that in there. Let's grab two of these guys and pop two in there. And let's go ahead and grab some more of these truffle oils and start the next round going. Man, my income's gonna dry up when I don't have these truffles, isn't it? That's gonna be sad. Um, let's uh, let's see. Sell these guys and this cheese and these three rocks and mix seeds. Don't care about them. Do not care. Get them out of my inventory. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to go and start prepping this area. Uh, we basically need to, oh, oh it's for, I forgot that they don't pick half of the coffee beans. So let me go ahead and pick these real quick. Um, I think I will, I'm not going to speed up the video. I'll just keep talking about um, what are we going to be working on. So I want to rearrange this whole area and I want to get it covered by iridium sprinklers instead of these normal quality sprinklers. So I need to hoe down a whole bunch of the uh, plants in order to make that happen. I'm not going to do all of them. Uh, I'm going to hoe up all of the sprinklers, and then I'm just going to set the pattern, and if there's a plant on my way, then I'm going to pick it up. Uh, but, uh, and the reason I'm not going to hoe up the, the coffee beans is because uh, they will all die tomorrow, and I can just clear them with my scythe super easy without extending a bunch of time and effort. So that is what we're going to do. I'm also going to empty all these coffee beans out of the Junimo hut, since they've been diligently picking those for me for so long. And if I, I won't have time, uh, and I won't have the resources. I also want to get another Junimo hut, but... I need a ton more, um, whatever it's called. I need a ton more fiber before I can do that. I've got the star fruits, ironically. I just don't have the fiber. 
uh, to make those. But I may rearrange them a little bit once I have this all figured out. Okay, we got three stones from that artifact spot. No thanks. Okay, let's keep on picking these guys. We're almost done with this. And then um, I may need to go to the... Oh, I was going to say I may need to go to the museum and collect some... Whatever they're called. Oh, I did mention also that I was going to tell you what I needed, what the plan was in terms of crops for the fall. So let me look at my list real quick and I'll let you know. Um, so in order to complete the polyculture, uh, I need to ship six more amaranth, four more artichokes, 15 bok choy, 12 eggplants, and... No, other way around. Okay, nine more amaranth, 11 more artichoke, 15 more bok choy, three more eggplants, and seven more grapes? Grapes? I have plenty of grapes. I wonder if I could just ship the ones that I foraged, if that'll count. Let me try that. And then I also need to grow an extra one bok choy, two eggplant, one amaranth, four cranberries, and two artichokes for recipes. So that is what we're going to do. Actually, let me go and ship those seven grapes right now while I'm thinking about it. And then I want to check the inventory or the menu tomorrow. Because that'll be just be a whole bunch of plants I don't have to worry about. Oh, there's a grape down there. Perfect. Oh, there's all kinds of forageables. I just haven't been picking up the forageables ever down here. Um, which is the entire point of having this forest farm. Other than it looking really cool is to get the forageables from it. Uh, but that's cool. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to have to also cut back this grass because it's going to be in the way. And let's see, you got coffee beans here. Hopefully we got a good amount of money from all this. All right, there's some more grapes up there. Excellent. So I think I said I needed to plant, I need to ship seven more grapes. Let me just double check, make sure my counts are up to date because I don't remember the last time I updated that. Uh, grape, I have shipped eight. So yes, I need to ship seven more. Seven more grapes, sir. Seven more grapes. Thank you. Let's jump on the horse, run this way, and then I need to get all my iridium sprinklers too and start playing with them. Let's see. Uh, there's two. Let's just ship all these. I don't really care about them. Ship, 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 ship. There we go. It was two. I need five more grapes. I should definitely be able to do that because Vincent is... He's maxed out, so who cares? There we go. Five more. I wonder if that count updates in real time or if I have to wait for it uh, to go overnight. Let's see. Yeah, and once I ship one of these bok choy, I will be done. I'll be, um, no, it has to wait overnight. Okay, so hopefully overnight it'll, that'll change to 15. Then I don't have to plant any grapes at all. That'll be ideal. Um, once I ship that bok choy, I'll get to ship one of every item achievement too. Oh, I didn't grab the... Um, the things. I didn't grab the sprinklers. I need those. Faux show. We got 12. That's pretty good. That's a lot of iridium sprinklers. Okay, so I do want it to cover this area over here. Let me go ahead and pick these guys up. Oop. There we go. All right, so this one needs to go here. It'll cover this whole square. Stepping stone sprinkler um so that'll cover oops let me grab these guys up it'd be good to go ahead and just pick these guys up because i probably I, there's a chance i'll run out of energy tomorrow and um so i'll just use all the energy i can here so i don't have to worry about it next time next time so i don't have to worry about it tomorrow There we go, there we go. We got some over there, cool. Kill, kill, kill. If we ever, if we need to steal some Iridium Sprinklers, I can steal them from over there. Cause I do want to put the Junimo hut over there actually, uh, once I can afford it. Wow, we have so many sprinklers. Oh, I forget that sometimes. Okay, oh, it's 9.30. I gotta go to the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. Okay, so we'll sort this out next time. But I, yeah, I wanna spread this whole area out with Iridium Sprinklers instead of Quality Sprinklers, cause then I get more, or farmable tiles that way. And I have bigger gaps in between, which means I can get Mega Crops. So that'll be awesome. The Dance of the Moonlight Jellies has begun! Yes, it has. Um, actually, I forgot to do this real quick. Um, Woodstack is over here. Let's see if I can actually get it. 
Yes, there we go. This is the club card. Under a piece of wood, you found a club card. You're not sure what it's for, but it seems important. It's been added to your wallet. Okay, so that's what you get from Mr. Key for doing all of the, um, all those little weird side quests that I did earlier today. So that's pretty cool. That was a fun little side thing that we did. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's run to the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies now. Um, we should have plenty of time to get there, because I think if I get there before 11, I'm safe. And I think it's even, like, I think I have even longer, but in my head, I need to be there before 11. So I just want to make sure I do that. We had 32 quality sprinklers. That's a lot of quality sprinklers. All right, and what I need to do is, I've already spoken to everybody here, except for Kent, so I should talk to him, but I want to talk to everybody I don't have a full relationship with, because uh, that will give me some extra relationship points with them. Life is so easy for jellyfish. Just letting waves carry you over, forward, onward, whatever. Whatever you say, man. All right, so I need to talk to you. I thought I saw something moving in there, something big, something dark. Hey, baby. Such a rare and exciting thing. Yeah. I'll see you later. Uh, I don't care about you guys. I care about Alex. I can't believe summer's over. I feel like it just started. Okay. Um, I don't remember if we're all the way up with Marnie or not. I don't think so. Go ahead and talk to you. Go ahead and talk to you. I hope there are babies this year. Okay. I need to talk to both of you. Good evening, wonky puppy. I hope you can find some time to relax before the harvest season. Oh, that's actually a really thoughtful, nice thing to say. There, I just saw something glowing. Oh, it's gone. Um, I don't think any of you... Look out there. Eerie, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't remember if we're leveled up or not, but I'll just go ahead and talk to you. I know we're leveled up, so bye. Aren't there other people that I need to talk to? I don't feel like that's enough. Oh, there's like the wizard and Krobus and the dwarf. They're not going to be there. Um, oh, there's these guys, though. Yes, and Evelyn. Psst, make sure to swing by the shop tomorrow for your fall seeds. <laughs> These candles are romantic, aren't they? Yeah, sure. I remember seeing the jellies once when I, as a girl, oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. Ah, there's Harvey too. There are a lot of people on this side of the, the beach. Well, summer's over. To be honest, I'm happy, I'll be happy to say goodbye to those blasted mosquitoes. Aw, there's Linus all by himself. I'll just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anybody. Poor guy. Anybody over here? Ah, oh, the wizard, being all creepy and weird. How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. I'm here to observe the Luna the Lunaloos, or Moonlight Jellies as you call them. They possess an unusually potent magical aura for an aquatic life form. Unusually potent magical aura. And here's these people. So I think Meru's the only one that I'm not leveled up with. So go ahead, or not Meru, um, Robin. Yawn, it's past my bedtime. Hey, did you see the candle boat I crafted all by myself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really care what you guys have to say. <laughs> Bye. I already talked to you, right? I'm pretty sure I talked to you on the other side. You just going around like a crazy person? Alrighty, so I think we've talked to everybody that we don't have full relationship points with, which is what exactly what we wanted to do. Uh, so let us go and cast the boat out. Hey, buddy. Once we launch the candles to come to that, what do you want to say? Should we launch? Yes. All right. I'm going to sit back and relax for a minute while we watch the Moonlight Jellies and sip my coffee before it becomes too cold to drink. Here we go. Bye, boat. I like the music in this scene, too. It's really fun. Oh, here they come. Hello, little jellies. I like that Abigail stands next to me now that we're married. That's cute. It's a nice little detail. She was over by her friends earlier. Aw, little babies. That'll make Jazz happy. It'd be cool if she reacted to them as they went by her, because she was the one that wanted to see them. And there's the uh, there's the green royal jelly, right? Isn't that what they called it some time ago? I don't know. Oh, he comes right up to us. That's neato, because we're the most important character in this story. <laughs> Look at them all. 
So pretty. Isn't that nice? That is such a nice little wholesome scene. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. Oh. Beautiful. Okay, we've got a uh, diamond here. All right, it's 1210. Should I start trying to put down some uh, sprinklers, or is that... No, I'm not going to be able to get very far. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, nope that. Straight up nope. Not going to do that. Um, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to put this diamond away. That's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at what we got in here. Do I have any fall seeds in here? Uh, uh, beets. I don't really care about them. No, I really don't. Why do I have a cauliflower in here? It does, definitely doesn't need to be in there. I'm just going to put it in here for now. I got I to gotta be mindful that I need to make room for all these seeds that I need to create. And that I do. All right, it's 1230. I'm really not going to be able to accomplish much more today, so I might as well just go to bed a little bit early. I don't think I popped down and checked this, though. don't think I did. Oh, we're up to silver quality on the wine. That's exciting. Uh, I should also check on the wine in the barrels. I think I think I uh, I think those have been done for a couple days. <laughs> Hopefully not, but probably so. Alrighty. Uh, oh, that's right. I need to check the. Uh, oh, we got lots of money. We got lots of money from. Oh, mostly from truffle oil because we did two. Yeah, I did accidentally ship a large book. Ugh, silly me. Um, mostly from the truffle oil, but we got it. Oh, we got a ton from the coffee. That's right. I forgot about, we had like just tons of coffee, a little bit from foraging. Yeah. 52,760 gold in total. That's a lot of gold. Uh, today's our double episode though. So we are going to keep on going straight into fall. Yes. Uh, hello. Hello fall. So exciting. It's day one of fall. Uh, let's check the calendar super quick. Uh, no birthdays today. Oh, but Penny's birthday is tomorrow. That's really good. We can maybe get her all the way up to eight hearts with that. Uh, let's check the weather report, though. Well, because you five, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. Now the weather forecast tomorrow. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Okay, that's actually kind of nice. Uh, let's check our luck as well. Welcome, welcome back to my episode. We'll leave you see come to the future where you've come to the right place. These spirits are very happy today. They will wait. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Well, that's going to be completely wasted. We're going to spend the whole day planting things. Welcome to Love Out Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. If you manage to get your hands on a rare seed, it, now's the time to plant it. Although it's said to take all season to grow, reliable sources have told it it actually takes just 24 days. The end result is rumored to be the sweetest fruit in the entire world. Hello, little baby Tyrone. How are you doing today? I just stole a bonsai tree. There we go. And hello, Abigail. How are you today? The scent is unmistakable. Mushroom, rotting leaves, pumpkin. It's fall, all right. Isn't it lovely? Mwah. There you go. Loves you, baby girl. Uh, let's get going, you freak. <laughs> uh, alrighty. Yes, it's fall! So exciting. Wonky Puppy, I'm really glad you become part of our community. I've enclosed a 500G check from the Stardew Valley Agricultural Fund to help you continue your good work. Maybe you can buy some more seeds with it. Sincerely, Mayor Lewis. Oh, that's nice of him. Uh, oh, we got these trees going out. I should have chopped these guys down. I really don't need them. No, 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 no. I'll do it later, though. I don't really have time to do it right now, to be honest. All right, so I need to get my scythe. So we're gonna start clearing some of this this area around here. Uh, we're gonna have a bunch of debris to worry about too, which is gonna be super annoying. That's not where the scythe is. This is not where the scythe is. This is where the scythe is. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let me drop this apple and this cherry off because I don't need it. Oh, I didn't get the cherry because I got super annoyed. That's right. Oh, well, uh, you guys are in my way. Let's go. Everybody get out of here. All you guys, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Gotta go, everybody, let's go. Come on, everybody out. <laughs> All right, those guys are gone. Uh, we got some debris over here that I'm gonna go ahead and clear because I don't want it to spread. I don't have my little panner to pan for ore, but there's some ore right there. This is unique and different. Uh, let's go ahead and chop these trees too because this is all getting very messy. And I'm not a fan. There we go. Alrighty. Scythe, where did you go? There you are. 
There we go. Uh, let's just put our scythe up by our other tools real quick. Uh, because I keep switching back and forth, and this is getting super inefficient and annoying for me, so I'm sure it's very annoying for you. Uh, let's get my pickaxe out. Bop, bop. And regular axe. Bop. Pickaxe. Bop. And scythe. Bop, 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 bop. All right, let's keep it moving, guys. We got a we got a whole bunch of area to clear. Ooh, lots of area to clear. <sighs> this is the part I don't like <laughs> having a big farm. All right, uh, let's go ahead and knock that out. Okay, what I think would be a good idea is, since it's already past nine, uh, before I reconfigure this whole area, uh, let's go ahead and run over to Pierre's. Oh, I need to take care of my animals. Let's go, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna go buy my fall seeds is what I'm trying to get at. I'm gonna go buy my fall seeds first before I start planting and reconfiguring any more than I already have. There we go. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 my lovelies. How are you all today? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> trying to move them. I don't know what just happened, but that's fine. I got to try to move them to a different barn. and it, There's no other barn. I'm just trying to say hi. I'm just trying to say hi to everybody. There we go. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Let's clear this guy out. Uh, grab this guy. Make sure I said hello to them. There we go. And now we should be good! I'll pick up all of our supplies. All the eggy poos. Not too many today, which is kind of nice because I got stuff to do. <laughs> um, gosh, my inventory gets so full in this place. Anything I need to worry about here? Uh, nothing, nothing urgent. <laughs> stuff needs attention, but... I got other things to do, to be honest. Uh, we got some stuff in here. Cool. No, don't eat the large egg. What's wrong with you? We got, oh, we only got two milks. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's tend to our machines. Somehow. All right, we got mayonnaise. We got cheese. And we didn't get too many eggs today, so hopefully we can just get them all in one shot. Yeah, but we can't. Perfect, because I don't have time to fiddle with all this stuff today. We didn't get any wool, did we? We did not. Very good. <laughs> and let's just do our truffle oil, because we got to keep that going. That is our primary source of income right now. Excellent. Cool, so let's sell this stuff. Let me finish clearing these crops that I didn't clear. And then we're going to go see Pierre. Senor Pierre. Uh, I don't care about that. Sell, 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 sell. KKKK! Get on my horse, please. Thank you. Let's get rolling! Alright, so. We need. Let me try to get both of these on the screen at the same time so I can see what we need for ingredients and I can see what we need for shipping. Uh, let me check the menu real quick and make sure my grapes counted towards uh, shipping. Uh, Harvey would like to hire someone to fetch Joja Cola. Would you, you will be paid for your time. 75G on delivery makes Harvey happy. Okay. So where can I buy a Joja Cola? Can I buy it from him? Probably not. He doesn't like Joja. No, he does not have Joja Cola. Okay. So let's just... Oh, I forgot to check the thing. All right, let's see. Uh, it's going to be on the next page. Uh, 15! Okay, so I don't have to worry about grapes. Let me go ahead and mark them off real quick. And what I need to get is... I need... Let's see, nine amaranth for... Nine amaranth for selling. And I need one for a recipe. And let's get, that's 10. All right, let's get five more for spare, and then five more for the seed project. 
Um, now let's see, we need artichokes. They're right there. I need 11 for shipping. I need two for recipes. Uh, let's do another five and then one, two, three, four, five. Let's do, okay, we'll just plant 20, that's fine. Uh, that'll be a little bit extra, a lot of bit extra. Uh, we need bok choy, we definitely need bok choy. We haven't made one pit of bok choy, so we need to do 15 for selling. I'll do 20. And then we need one for a recipe. And let's keep five for the, the project. Uh, and then I need eggplants. I need to sell three, so we're just gonna do three plants. And then uh, I need, let's just do five plants, fine. And, ten, and five for spare, that'll be plenty. I need to keep two for recipes and the rest need to be sold. Um, and then this so we got amaranth, artichoke, bok choy, eggplant. That's everything we need for selling. Uh, we do need some cranberries for recipes, but then everything else is accounted for in the recipes department. So let's just do five cranberry plants and five to spare, or I guess six to spare. Um, and let's get five corn for spare corn or for the seed project. We already got those for the seed project. We already got those for the seed project. Five yams, we already got those. Five wheat. I think we have sunflowers, but just in case. Uh, fairy seeds, let's get a fair amount of them for jazz. Let's get 40. Amaranth, we already got. Let's get five grape starters. We already got artichokes. Let's get a few more grass starters too to spread around the cage. 40 them. And now the rest is gonna be pumpkins. I'm gonna get like 200 pumpkins because I'm planning on filling the entire side field that I'm prepping with pumpkins. So I might even do 300 just to be safe. Oh, that, this noise is annoying. Ah, uh, it's driving me crazy. I wish there was a way to do bulk ordering. Oh, 300 on the dot! That was nice. I can't believe that worked. That was really funny. Uh, I don't have any gifts for anybody. I should. Should do that, but it's not going to be today, that's for sure. Uh, let's just go and see if um, this guy's got a Joja Cola real quick that I can buy. If he does, then I'm going to go give that to Harvey just to complete that quest, because that won't take too long. He does not! Well, that's annoying. And Joe just co uh, closed, so I don't really know what to do about that. I don't think I kept any of the trash. <laughs> um, so, sorry about your luck, Harvey. I don't think I can get a Joja without fishing all day, and I am not going to do that. That's just all there is to that. Let me just have a quick rummage through my chest and see if I have any Joja anywhere. No. 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 Definitely not down there. Okay, um, let's go ahead and put these in. Some of these are hopefully gonna stack. And I'm already out of space. So let's take the things that aren't seeds out, and we'll find a different place to put them. Like the sap. And I guess I'll keep the rare seed in there. Uh, we got five of those in there. There we go. And we have any pumpkins in there? We do not. Okay, well, this is going to get weird. All right, coffee beans are coming out. Pumpkins are going in. Um, amaranth? Don't have room for them. What else is coming out? I guess uh, mixed seeds are coming out. <laughs> You're going in. Uh, oh, and the sweet gin berries, they can come out. That'll be easy. Let's grab them. Perfect. Uh, we already got these guys in there, right? Yeah, we already got bok choy in there. Yep, we got artichokes in there. Yep, we got amaranth. We do not. Those guys can go in there. Fairy seeds. Oh, I already got them in there. Cool, let's grab them back out. Uh, cranberries. Oh, so let's just go through. Okay. It's completely full. <laughs> uh, we got artichokes accounted for, bok choy accounted for, eggplant accounted for, cranberry seeds accounted for. Cool. Uh, we don't have mixed seeds, but eh. Uh, pumpkins are in there and fairy seeds are in there. Okay, cool. We got everything in. I'm super excited about that. Uh, it does take an entire chest though. <laughs> so I guess keep that in mind. Uh, let's put those in there, that in there, that in there, and that in there. And we got a piece of coal for some reason. Don't know why. 
Oh, uh, the rest of these are things that I want to plant. Um, where are they keeping the other rare things? Oh, I already have sweet gym berries in here. Let's go ahead and put them in there then. Perfecto. All right, now you guys need to go here. You need to go here. Actually, you need to go at the end. And you need to go at the end too. So the rest of this is stuff I need to get in the ground for specific reasons. I don't need you guys. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get this stuff in the ground ready to go. I want to get my watering can while I'm thinking about it. And time to get planting. You gotta hoe all this up. Hoe it up, hoe it up, hoe it up, up, up. Really, really horse. Really horse. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Ugh, this is so annoying. All right, come on. Come on. Let's get this going. This is a big area to land. I actually, um, I might speed up the video while I'm doing all this and show you me um, planting. And then we'll probably skip ahead again to everything watered, I'm thinking. Or I may just skip watering because I don't really need... I'm not super constrained by the days, so... I don't know. Yeah, but I'm going to cut ahead and I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back. Uh, let's start planting all of these things around. Uh, now, these things I don't care about the quality. I just need to, I just need numbers to be honest. <laughs> uh, I need numbers to sell, and I need um, uh, whatever it's called. I need uh, la, la, I can't think of the word. <sighs> I need ingredients for cooking. So, uh, yeah, don't care about um, don't care about quality. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay. Uh, kind of annoying that that happened, but whatever. Uh, I'll just plant all these guys here. This pattern's going to look awful, but I'm not too worried about the pattern. Uh, I do want to try to do a solid block of the fairy roses and a solid block of the pumpkins, though. I do care about the quality of the fairy roses and the pumpkins for uh, return. That's what I'm worried about. Let's get all these guys in there. Hopefully we can fill up this whole space. Oh gosh, there's one left. Okay, we can steal one from the seed project <laughs> to, to close that because that's going to annoy me if I don't. Can I have one bok choy seed, please? Thank you. Okay, so the next round, uh, we are going to do fairy rose and uh, pumpkins. So I do care about the quality of them. Let's go ahead and get some uh, fertilizer. I should have plenty of fertilizer in here. Oh, I don't. But I have plenty of sap, so we'll make some. We're going to do regular standard quality fertilizer. And I'm going to make, like, I might go up to 400. Hopefully it doesn't completely wipe me out in terms of sap. But it looks like I'll be okay. I just don't want to run out. That's my big thing. But that noise is horrible. And there we go. 400. Perfect. <laughs> I'll throw the sap back in here for now. And let's get all of this stuff fertilized. You think I don't know that? Must be added before planting. What am I? Oh, because I keep going to the seeds. Got it. I am not worried about those seeds. I don't care about their quality. I care about this quality of this thing down here where the fairy roses are going to go. Alrighty, there we go. There we go. There we go. And there's no chance, no chance at all that I'm going to get this done um, in time for... Uh, I should say, I, there's no chance I'm going to be able to do all of the second area. Uh, oh, look at now. Neato. 
So I might just focus on getting this stuff watered so that it is all aged at the same time frame. And then um, not worry about reconfiguring the field tomorrow or today. I might just reconfigure the field tomorrow. That's what I'm thinking, because I think I can get everything watered, but I don't think I can really make any meaningful progress on the reconfiguration of the other field. I'd rather just have this out of my mind and feel good about this side of the farm, uh, I think. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these fairy rose planted now. Uh, the seeds look pretty. I like them. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm really trying to be very precise and make sure that I don't screw up the pattern. Okay, there we go. And all the rest is going to be pumpkins. I think I'm about to buy, end up buying more pumpkin seeds in order to fill the uh, the place down there. Or I guess it's the other field, I should say. I don't think I'll have enough, to be honest. Which is kind of crazy, because I already bought 300 pumpkins. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see, that's for sure. Fill in these gaps. All right, it's already 9:50, so need to get a move on. Come on, come on, game. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I um, what did I buy? Did I buy 300 pumpkins or did I buy 400 pumpkins? Either way, I planted a lot. <laughs> uh, Alrighty, let's fill up my watering can real quick, and I'm gonna speed up the video while I move through this, but I'm gonna try to get this whole field watered before I uh, completely crash and run out of energy. So I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm all done watering. That took the absolute last second that I had available. Uh, so that's something. Um, it's 1 a.m. now. I don't have a lot of time to really do anything else at all. I'm gonna keep all this stuff on my inventory though because I do need to deal with it tomorrow. Uh, so let's go ahead and head to bed because I can't do anything meaningful in the less than an hour that I've got left. Uh, so yeah, so let's just head straight to bed. Yes, let's go to sleep for the night. Absolutely, let's do that. Perfect idea. <laughs> Um, I don't think we got much gold today because we spent most of our time, yeah, working on the farm. Uh, we got 14,000 gold in total. Almost all of that came from truffle oil. Uh, but with that, I am going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like below to let me know that. Don't forget to subscribe to show your support for the channel. Join us on, Di join us on Discord if you would like to connect with the community. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video.